when you sort of look at the digital economy, there's no question right now that the money is made off of flipping people into new cell phones every six months and making them buy new computers and new netbooks and faster machines and what have you. Although the financial returns from that are getting smaller all the time. And it's interesting in that regard to watch, watch Taiwan, which is finding its, its digital manufacturing sector being squeezed and squeezed and squeezed and tighter and tighter margins. Digital content seems to be peripheral. It seems to be sort of fluff because what the heck, you have YouTube, you have Facebook, people are generating their own content. Why are they going to pay for it? You have the fact that you've not been able to monetize an awful lot of things. You, most newspapers are still given away for free. Government materials available for free. Wikipedia is for free. So monetizing content has proven to be a challenge. One of the things that East Asia does better than anywhere in the world is a phenomenon called micropayments, which allows you to pay very, very small amounts of money for content. So if, I, if you saw something you wanted online and it cost you two cents, you wouldn't bother because you have to go through the, you know, the visa card and all that kind of stuff. In Japan and Korea and Taiwan, places like that, what happens is it just gets added to your phone bill. So you can see something, an image that you like, you can see a piece of anime, you can see a cartoon, so, and you just pay two cents for it or three cents. But if a million people buy it in a day and you've got three cents worth for all them, somebody's going to make an awful lot of money off of that. So that sector is starting to grow very, very quickly. And it's actually growing faster than the profit margins on the, on the manufacturing side, which are being suppressed because of competition. And because we've actually passed the point of really substantial innovation. In fact, most of the increments in terms of new technology are very small. And in fact, we're still probably in most cases only using about 5 to 10% of the capacity of the machinery we have. So most people who watch this sector realize that digital content, uh, getting people to pay for things that they get over their computers through their technology is actually going to be the key to economic development in the future.